Good morning, YouTube. There are some people who say that the Ferrari California is not a real Ferrari. Well, I'm gonna show you why it is. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new channel, my name is Dan and we are at my dealership, NG Supercars, and this Ferrari California right behind me is for sale. So check it out on our website, ngsupercars.com. But I don't get it. People are like, oh, the Ferrari California is not a real Ferrari. It's a front engine V. Uh, I mean, they now have a V6, they have multiple hybrids, they've had multiple V8 front engine cars now, so I don't know. I guess maybe it's because it's cheaper and it's the entry level Ferrari of its era. Whatever. What a lot of people don't know is that the engine in the Ferrari California is the same engine that's in the Ferrari F430 just slightly detuned. So it's every bit as good as the Ferrari F430. In fact, I'm gonna argue that the Ferrari California is more reliable than a Ferrari F430 because the DCT transmission in these cars is, well, in my opinion, a more reliable transmission than the F1 system. Now, obviously the, the manual transmission is pretty damn bulletproof, but the DCT is better. And in fact, the Ferrari California is faster than the Ferrari F430 because of the DCT transmission. So you got an extra gear and of course the lightning fast shifts. Well, we'll get into the car and drive it in just a moment and you'll be able to see the shifts are absolutely spectacular. But let's go over the car real quick and then take it out for a spin. All right, this particular example is a 2011 and it has aftermarket wheels. They look really, really nice. In fact, I think the black wheels make the California really stand out. This is the way it should be configured, and of course, with the nice dark tint. Yes, this looks absolutely fantastic. There are a few small imperfections. We do have a scrape. Well, no, sorry, that's just a bug. There are a couple of little little paint chips, like right there, there's one. It's pretty small, you know, just small things like that, but really, the paint's in pretty damn good shape. Uh, probably could use a paint correction, but a light one. It doesn't need a heavy paint correction. The paint's in, in very, very good shape. Headlights are clear. Uh, is that a nope that's just dirt yeah dirt's tricking me today wheels are in great shape i don't see any marks or marring the the tires are uh, let's take a look at these things so the tires are 2017 so they probably are about due to be changed out we can work that out in a deal if you want to buy it Wait, oh no, okay there's a tiny pit right there so Again, very minor imperfections overall. It's just in great shape. This wheel, no signs of any scuffs or scratches or anything, no curb rash. Come back here again, looks good. Underside, yeah, there is a, there's no scrapes on the diffuser or anything like that. This wheel, yep, looking pretty good. Oh, that's just in a PPF. Okay, there's a mar there in the PPF, yeah. Looking overall very, very nice. And this wheel already kind of looked over. So yeah, this is in, I would say better than average condition on the outside. Let's take a look on the inside. Leather on the door panel looks great. Leather in the seat actually looks remarkably good. It's uh, very little bolster wear. This is awesome. This is great condition. Uh, definitely above average there. Uh, I think they said the sticky buttons had basically all been taken care of. So. I don't really feel any sticky buttons. Let's get in here and take a look. Yep, these are all taken care of. All these are taken care of. Yeah, no stickies, that's great. A tiny bit of bubbling on the dash right there. See that? Not bad. So it's on the airbag cover, otherwise in really good shape. Seat bolster over here, basically perfect. Rear seat, basically perfect. Yeah, this thing is really, really clean. So one of the things is this Ferrari is actually sort of practical. So you pop open this massive trunk lid. It's absolutely huge. There you go. And at first like, well, that's not that much space, but you take this thing and you go like that. And now you actually have a reasonably large size trunk. So when this is up, the top of course cannot come down. But there you go. You can actually get a good amount of space. You got your little toolkit right here. Yeah, everything's there. Yeah, it's a reasonably practical Ferrari. And of course it is a hard cover or a hard top convertible. You got some 
carbon fiber right there that looks nice so one thing that's kind of crazy is the actuation of the roof this entire huge trunk piece lifts up and rotates back like this it's it's nuts and then the whole top just kind of folds in half and then tucks right in interesting engineering design let's go into the engine bay and see that 4.3 liter v8 there you go so yes again this is basically the same engine that's in the Ferrari F430. It's the same engine block that's actually in the 430 and the 458. So it's the F136 block, but it's slightly detuned from the Ferrari F430. So it's not quite as powerful and it doesn't rev quite as high in the RPMs, but still a flat plane crank, still all the other benefits of it. Uh, battery down there, which is, uh, that's gotta be a bitch to change out. You're gonna have to take off all this intake runners and all that stuff, but whatever. Uh, it's a great looking engine too, in my opinion. Uh, nice red valve covers, red intake, it looks pretty cool. Uh, obviously you have a much shorter intake runners because the engine's not sitting quite as low as it is in the Ferrari F430. Also, if I remember correctly, this is not actually a dry sump engine, it is just a regular oil pan engine so that of course is another major difference in this thing otherwise everything else pretty much the same so it does have a torque tube and then the transmission is actually in the rear so it is a front mid engine you can see the axle point is right here the engine's behind the axle and then the transmission is in the rear so you still have very good weight distribution and good balance in this car all right youtube let's hop in it and take it for a spin we're going to run some errands and go to the bank and home depot in a ferrari <laughs> YouTube, we're in Ferrari, California, so we're gonna go top down. See, it's a pretty quick top. Nice. We have the DCT transmission, so you just pull the right panel and off we go. A lot of purple. That's actually pretty good sounding. <laughs> so one thing about the DCT is it has a bad rap of people thinking that they all explode or whatever, especially the early ones. And it's not really true. So I should clarify, when they say explode, they mean like the speed sensor goes out really, because the transmission itself is very robust, but it's got a sensor in there, it's electronic. If that sensor goes bad, well, the transmission stuff's working. So that's kind of a problem. This transmission has already been pulled out. The DCT has been taken apart and the speed sensor has been replaced. So this transmission should be good. Usually once they've done that once, it never happens again. In fact, I'm not aware of any DCT transmissions having issues more than once. Probably with some early on bad batches with that sensor or something, I don't know. Pretty good sounding engine. I mean, it is the 430 engine. So the engine only revs to 8,000 instead of 8,500. Still lots of power. One big difference about the California is of course, it's actually pretty darn comfortable and you can get in and out, no trouble at all. So that is a big advantage of the California over some of the other cars especially the mid-engine cars. It's a good car. It's just pleasant. It's comfy. You got the convertible top. You sort of have rear seats, but let's, let's be real. Those are, those are rear seats for people without legs or children under the age of five. Maybe you can fit like eight-year-olds. I don't know, they're, they're pretty microscopic. I've seen adults try and squeeze back there. It doesn't go very well usually, but here's the thing. With the DCT, these shifts. Look how look how fast these shifts are. <laughs> Still got a lot of power. You get little pops and bangs on this thing. It's 
So clearly they have the valves pinned open on this car. They pulled the vacuum lines, which you want. You want to be able to hear this thing. I mean, come on, you're in a Ferrari. So this car has 30,821 miles at the moment. Like I said, it's in exceptionally good condition. We'll work out a deal if you need if you need us to get you tires, we can get some tires and basically work that into the deal somehow. Right now it's sitting on P0s, which, eh, you really want Michelin. So here's another nice thing about these Californias. If I want, shift it up to seventh gear, cruising, 50 miles an hour, seventh gear, 2,000 RPMs. Pleasant. Now the handling, you might think, oh, it's a California, it's not a real Ferrari. But that's the thing, the handling is still exceptional. Spin, spin the tires a little bit right there. <laughs> yeah, those tires are, they're done. You should not be spinning the tires at whatever the mile an hour it was. Still has very sharp, tight handling. It's a little bit looser than the V8 mid-engine cars. I'll admit, you know, it's got a little bit, a little bit more play. It's not quite as darty. It doesn't quite command the attention you have to have when driving the mid-engine cars where like, you know, if you sneeze and the car is gonna be shooting off the road, it's a little bit more loose, you know, like I can do this and we're not going ah, all over the road, so that's good. It's just a little bit more relaxed, a little more chill. It's definitely a much better grand touring car. I mean, taking this car on a road trip would be absolutely fantastic. Another advantage is it doesn't stick out quite as crazy. This is a bright red Ferrari, but because of the design of it, it looks, well, you know, it's got a bit of the Corvette kind of body lines. So people might not lose their minds when they see it when you're filling up with gas. Now that being said, it still gets a lot of attention. We've had, when we were driving one of our Californias before, at a gas station, one guy was losing his mind. Oh my God, it's a Ferrari. So you still have all of the benefits of that. So yes, it is fully fledged a Ferrari. Now only people who bitch and say it's not a real Ferrari are some of the elitist Ferristas, right? But they can get over themselves. Who cares? You're still driving a Ferrari. So here's the other thing. These things are really reasonably affordable. They're less than a brand new SUV in many cases. They are well under $100,000. This car is way under $100,000. That's a lot of car for under $100,000. Exceptional handling, wonderful Ferrari engine, DCT transmission, pretty darn reliable. Looks good, sounds good, smells like, like the Italian leather that's in here. This is a fantastic car. It's an amazing bargain. I can tell that this is one of the earlier DCTs compared to like the 48 Portofino F12 because there's just the slightest hesitation between shifts and it does kind of give you a little bit of lurch, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's certainly much, much faster than the F1 transmissions, but it's basically the same transmission that's in the 458, although it's geared differently. So it does behave just a little different. The license plate on the Tesla in front of me says Stonky. All right, let's go uh, go to the bank. A few moments later. Just did my banking stuff. Now I gotta run to Home Depot. It's got nice pops on the upshift. You know, it's nice pop. Makes all the right sounds. It's got good Ferrari sounds. It's very important can't have a Ferrari if it doesn't sound like a Ferrari. So I don't know how else to convince you other than it drives like a Ferrari, it sounds like a Ferrari, it's got a Ferrari engine. It's made by Ferrari. Therefore, it is a Ferrari. So the people who are getting all weird and panties in a bunch about it not being a Ferrari, they probably don't own Ferraris. But here's the thing, if you show up at the Ferrari Club of America events in a Ferrari California, no one's looking down upon you. It's not like they're like, oh, look at that person. They've only got a Ferrari California. Who cares? No one, no one cares. They're like, hey, nice Ferrari. Come on, let's do some cool stuff and go on drives and have some fun. That sounds like a great thing to me. All right, we're on the way home. Ran my errands in the reasonably practical Ferrari. And we have the top up and it is pretty quiet.
quiet in here. Uh, seventh gear, 55 miles an hour, 2,000 RPMs, and not much noise. AC's going. I had to change out my microphone because my other one died. But you still can downshift and have it sound nice and good. Like that. YouTube, there you have it, the Ferrari California. It's a real Ferrari, and it's for sale on our website, NG Supercars, so go check it out. If you'd like to make us an offer, send us an email, sales at ngsupercars.com, but you know, we've got a lot of cool car stuff coming your way. We gotta, we gotta do some more videos. We have more inventory. We have this manual 360. This is a OE manual, and of course, we're converting some cars over here, so stay tuned for all that. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. You're gonna wanna stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet. Thank you.